boys today with the current meta of boon totems i've decided to bring in a build to directly counter that so i'm going to be running a five totem hex build of devour haunted undying and retribution and basically whatever totem they do cleanse should be giving them a negative effect and without any more delay let's get right into the games and let's see how effective this build is at countering the new meta okay so we're on the pale rose and i literally just spawned in did a 180 and saw a survivor straight away so that's a pretty good start. Hopefully they cleanse my hexes pretty soon or try to set up the boon totems anyway. That's the idea. Oh, Fang. Almost, but not quite. I love how satisfying grabs are because it just doesn't even make you fatigue afterwards. First hook of the game and we're well on our way to building up our devour stacks. Okay, it sounds like somebody's on main and as well there's a near that I'm pretty sure just ran around the boat. Oh, here she is. All right, so we already have one Devour Stack, so that's good. I know that there's two people around Shack somewhere. And there's two people here. Can I land that? Almost. A little bit wishful thinking. Can I land this, though? No, I got him one bug. Oh, ho, ho, that's so unlucky. I got him one bug, and then I tried to swing late. But the game did not want to give me the hit. Here he is. Okay, just kind of holding W. Okay, well, we get the hit now because he hesitated. Now, where are we going, Leon? What are we doing? What's the big plan? Of course, got to get that dead hard validation. To be fair, I should have been more patient. I definitely could have been. But because he's just not even looking behind him and just running in a straight line, I didn't actually expect dead hard. I think there's a survivor over here. Yeah, there is. It's an ace. No sprint burst. Maybe he was trying to get it ready. I'm not sure. He definitely has iron will because even with my... Metal Spoon, I cannot hear him at all, and that confirms it. Definitely no Sprint Burst. No way. Okay, I'll definitely take that. We're up to two stacks already, so this actually will be our third stack. And they saboed the hook. Well, looks like I'm chasing Leon again. Nice double back, but apparently Nurse has some crazy extendo arms. Not that hard for me, Leon. I tried to wait. It's so hard to counter that hard now. Much, much more difficult. Where did he even go? Oh, he's there. I thought he just disappeared into the wind. I had no idea where this Leon went. Are we about to tank a DS? Because he saboed the hook? Or does it get disabled when you sabo a hook? Oh, that would have been the most perfect timing ever. But uh, sadly, she was aware. There's the ace. Okay. Oh, such a bad time to get Blink Bug. I probably could have landed that, obviously. Depends how switched on the ace is. But we will land that one. And there we go. Instantly they cleanse. Giving me Haunted and Retribution. So I know that this survivor is right here and there's actually one right there as well. Hello, Leon. Ooh, nice double back. Into M1 bug. Maybe I just tried swinging a little bit early. I'm not too sure. Leon's actually doing pretty well on this edge map here, but... Haunted being up, it's never going to last too long. Okay, we got another Retribution proc. Somebody there. Where is the survivor I can't see? They're over there. Okay, well, that's perfect. You just cleansed my Haunted for the second time. And even though I'm absolutely terrible and missed that blink, you should be down pretty soon. There we go. Perfect. Well... Even though they didn't try to set up any boon totems this game, you should be able to see the power of this build in the fact that as soon as they started cleansing my totems, the momentum of the game just completely shifted and it went from them doing pretty all right in a pretty good situation to just three people dead or two people dead and one on hook. And that's the last survivor right there. We got a little bit lucky in the totem RNG and the fact that my devour lasted the longest and they hit my haunted ground twice. So that might have been the best case scenario for the totems. But, uh, hey ho! That is the power of this build. Totem RNG is very much a thing in DVD. I, this game has been crazy for M1 bugs. I'm, I'm starting to question myself now. Is it me just getting the timing wrong? This M1 bug is definitely a thing. And it has been confirmed by the devs. Yeah, another Feng came over here. Oh, well. <laughs> I, I spoke a little bit too soon. I was about to say another Feng came over here somewhere. There you are, Fang. GG's. 
Okay, we're in on Badum, and I think this will be pretty interesting because last time I played on this map, the, all of the building's collisions were terrible. So we're pretty interested to see if they've fixed them. Looks like they're off cleansing my totems. So Fang, fortunately, your teammates have not done you a big favor here because they have absolutely ruined you. And we should get... Never mind! She is Sprint Burst. <laughs> but there is someone on the other side of that van. Hello, Fang. I have Retribution. Um, I might as well actually pursue this at this point. I thought she de- Well! Okay, so we're on Badum, and I mean, that's a hell of a start. As far as I'm aware, I saw, I think, two survivors over this way. There we go, that's a Fang. Is Fang running a sprint burst? It doesn't look like it. How did she get there? Okay. Fang's got the moves, I like it. Last time I played on Badum, I noticed that the hitboxes on the buildings and everything were not the best. So now's a good opportunity to see whether they've fixed it or not. Okay, she doubled back, that's perfect. These guys are doing gens pretty damn quick. There's the Fang, I think I can land that. Perfect, okay, right at the edge of the swing. And there we go, there's Haunted and Retribution again, that's perfect. Got one Michaela over there, he's really doing anything. And this Michaela definitely did not realize what was happening. Okay, well, this will be my third Devour stack, but if I remember correct, there was a survivor over here somewhere. It just depends entirely how far they've moved. I don't see the survivor anywhere, so I just want to make sure I get my Devour. Perfect. Okay, the survivor was lurking nearby because they got to save relatively quickly. There they are, going to the back of the shack. And now they're doubling back, and yep. Just as I thought, Shaq is still completely broken. But as you can see, for some reason, the wall collisions on the Shaq are just completely broken. Like, completely broken. Hello, Michaela. Your heal isn't gonna do very much, I'm sorry. So anyway, for the time being, we're gonna completely avoid chasing in Shaq where possible. And I see the Feng over on this gen, which is pretty ballsy considering Devour is up. I can go for that. Oh, she doubled back a tiny bit. I'm pretty sure just did a little spin. So my blink ended up getting completely swallowed. But she has lied. Okay, I was about to say, but we just made an amazing prediction because she vaulted that quite literally as I blinked to it. But never mind. She made incredible distance because of live. And now it makes a lot more sense just to switch someone else who doesn't have as much distance. I... Ah... Uh, there they are. Is my Devour still up? That is the question. Yes, it is. Okay, well, this is going to be a pretty insane snowball then. Survivor over there. This survivor doesn't know that I know they're here. So... Perfect. Perfect. Literally, best case scenario for this build. And we'll come pick this person up. And they should be over here somewhere because they saved just off of this hook. Okay, well, they're saving. So now I actually have the opportunity to just mori people out and Fang, even though you have played very well, you're going to be the first victim. I'm so sorry. And now we have the elusive frosty nurse hand that you get after morrying survivors. Unfortunately, they got my devour out, but I think it's a little bit too little too late. Oh, wow. Well, I just saw her blood and, and tried to adjust to roughly where she was and it actually worked out. I'll take it. I think this is quite possibly the worst gate split I have ever seen. Okay, I think they've done this gate or they're out. Yeah, like I say, there's no way you're going to be able to contest those gates. I tried my best. 